Oh my God, we're live. Uh, hey everybody, welcome. It's Thursday night. You know what that means? Usually that means it's cacophony night. Uh, check the swag out on the gents. Uh, we got it rocking because uh, we are part of the uh, guild here uh welcome to murder hobo inc folks follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy cool stuff like this uh rpg swag if you want to join us in discord uh m hobo inc discord both of those are tinyurl.coms uh welcome aboard you know how this runs if you haven't seen us before welcome uh this is just a uh, short two-hour game uh because i'm not kyle yeah kyle <laughs> Uh, and we are playing in the city of Cacophony, uh, the home of the Golden Canard. Uh, mm -hmm. Before we get to what they're doing, let's get to them. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, everyone. I'm Carol, as you said. He always spoils it. Um, and I... <laughs> Go ahead, mute her. Mute her. Mute her now. <laughs> Great. Yes, because I'm about to freaking die, apparently, of fake corona. Corona. I do not have the Rona, but I always have a freaking cough. <coughs> so, as I said, my name is Carol. I am a commission mini painter, longtime gamer, sometime GM, and I am playing my <coughs> cacophony character, Rosa the Raven, my swashbuckler. Isn't that the one that does anything? <laughs> what? Is she the one that does anything, or is that a different one? I don't Try know what anything. you mean. <laughs> one that can hit things she's the one that can sneak attack things no without it. no 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 i don't know what you mean. oh you're thinking arania i guess that's that right one. okay that's, that's right. it uh, no, she's for all purpose one shot character <laughs> gotcha next up david david who are you who are you playing hi i'm david uh i am a content creator uh dm for like junior players too and uh tonight i'll be playing nikos the satyr wild magic sorcerer so this is either gonna get silly or catastrophic folks hang on to your seats. Oh. you know all i can think of is dirty rotten scoundrels <laughs> right there at the end yeah <laughs> that's but certainly not least carrie uh normally our producer who are you who are you playing uh, my name's carrie i am married to the dm over here Pity me, everyone. No favoritism. Me. No favoritism. <laughs> <laughs> the seduction. When that yeah. fireball comes tonight. <laughs> uh, I'm playing Camille, a wizard necromancer, and that's about it. And she's also uh, the head of Pirate Dog Dice, uh, going live soon. These happen to be going to, uh, I think I'll send them to Saskatchewan. because. Hey! Uh, maker of creative dice. Uh, folks tonight, like I said, they are in cacophony. They have been tasked by the guild master, <laughs> Amanda D's Nuts, uh, <laughs> to go down and investigate a smuggling problem on the docks, which these guys are eminently familiar with. I wonder if they'll meet anybody they know down there uh we shall see folks uh you guys know where the adventurers guild is it's right across from the house on penny hill uh a quick right and a jaunt down the deep incline will get you to the docks are you guys ready to go uh we are ready i, I think so what this message uh, this mission is because i don't think you sent it to us Nope, I ha ha haven't sent it to you. You guys got to find out. Uh, oh, an agreement to resolve the smuggler problem has been made, and your group moves down the sloping streets to the docks. After a quick search of the docked vessels, you find a merchant ship called the Mermaid, which you are supposed to make contact with their captain. Uh, dodging past porters, you make your way up to the deck and spot a woman clearly in command of the vessel and of her people. Uh, she is yelling to and fro, tote that barge, lift that sail, blah, blah, blah. You present your cacophony pins, indicating you are with the Adventurers Guild, and she hands over everything to her first mate to discuss it. Her name is Captain Helena Two Bits Bits. Uh, she is a powerful woman, a swashbuckler, one might say. Uh -huh. uh, she will report that in the last several days, some of the ships in port 
uh, have been subjected to some theft slash smugglers and several boxes of goods all marked with a mermaid insignia have disappeared she wants them back the other captains of the other vessels in port want their shit back too and they are willing to pay top nugget to you guys if you do um she will ask you <sighs> so are you guys qualified for this job so are you guys qualified for this job? <laughs> She's a handsome woman. <laughs> wow, wait, you swashbucklers are supposed well, I guess charismatic can also mean horrifying. As long as they get you to stare at you, you know, there you go. Well, Persuade uh, me. Since I'm short, I take my quarter staff and tap on her boot and say, Look, do you want your shit or not? Uh, <laughs> give me a persuasion check. Nineteen. She is satisfied with your moxie, shakes her head, spits over the side of the ship, says you're hired. Uh, she will now point out that uh, one of the ship captains of the uh, the crayfish, I, I don't know why I named it that, but anyway, I would I should have come up with a name. Bubba Gump uh, Company. That's right. Oh, that would have been a good one. Uh, yeah. the, ca the captain of the crayfish actually uh, caught somebody ripping them off the other day and followed them to their secret lair. She is reporting that it is over by uh, the tower, the Mariner's Tower, which you passed on your way down here. It's called the Mariner's Tower because it is adorned with the names of dead sailors who perished doing the brave job that sailors do. <laughs> uh, she will ask if you want to go investigate that aspect first, or do you have another course of action? I'd like to ask her a question. Go ahead! <laughs> uh, I know you said that all of the parcels had the mermaid symbol on them. Is there a common theme? All, all of mine! What, all of mine! Right, right. Is there a theme of oh. what was taken? I do not wish to divulge that information at this time. But to know it could be helpful. I had that same question too in my mind. Uh, Give me a persuasion would, check, Rosa. <laughs> it, it, it would, any clues would be helpful at this point. Yeah, that's not great. What is my persuasion? What is my persuasion? Oh, well, that's a 13. Oh, that's good enough. Uh, she spits and hits a bug that is traveling between your legs, uh, <laughs> splattering your boots. Ugh. Wipes wipes off the spittle and goes, look, all you got to do is find the boxes marked with the dolphin and the mermaid and the octopus and the crayfish. But most importantly, the mermaid. You find that, you find my stuff. If and this, my stuff's out of the box, you just put any stuff you find into the box, you bring it back. Got it. I'd like to ask her <laughs> another question. Sure. God. <laughs> so, do you have a significant other? Roll d12 against me. <laughs> 12 or 20? 12. Apparently, Camille has a type. No, just is just for question. Uh, eight. Uh, four. Odd male, even female. Yeah, he's down below. He's tired, if you know what I mean, and gives you a rough elbow to the shoulder. Is he a hearing <laughs> man? <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice line. <laughs> you know what? He can't hear with my thighs wrapped around his head. <laughs> Are you, guys gonna, are you guys going to get my stuff or not? Yes. Okay. Yes, we're definitely going to get your stuff. So essentially, you're looking for boxes marked with some of the ships in harbor. You know that there's the crayfish, uh, the octopus, uh, the mermaid, probably a dolphin in there somewhere. Uh, I don't think there's one of gonorrhea, but there's probably one of those in there, too. Uh, she will call forth one of her mates who, eh, let's see what his intelligence is. Oh, he's an idiot. <laughs> this guy is an idiot. Nice. He's got his shoes on the wrong feet. Oh, Comes up, smartly salutes her. Uh, she rolls her eyes and says, take these guys over to the Mariner. Take these guys over to the Mariner's Tower because she's like, like half Batman. And show them where Captain Oblong found the opening. 
He's like Sergeant Doofy. Doofy. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> she shakes her head and goes, follow him. Uh, he, despite being stupid, is quite dexterous, and he manages to bob and weave through the crowd. Uh, everybody go ahead and roll insight to make sure you keep an eye on him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Insight. 12. 12's good. 14. 14. 19 for Nico. All three of you keep an eye on him as he bobs and weaves through the crowd like he's Muhammad Ali, and he goes right for the Mariner's Tower, which, as I said earlier, you passed. Uh, adorned with shingles and bricks of the dead Mariners, he takes you around the back into a sketchy area up against the city wall where there's a large, rusty grate. It's a storm sewer, essentially. And he goes, Sir, yes, sir! They went down that way, sir, ma'am, thing, sir. <laughs> uh, and he gives it a yank and he pulls it up. Uh, there is a loud screech as he lifts the gate. Uh, you move aside some plants and you find a tunnel that leads straight down. Uh, it goes down about, uh, you maybe guess 10, 15, maybe even 20 feet down. There are rusty iron rungs along the side for you to go ahead and descend. Okay. <clears throat> so, so, Do you uh, here? <laughs> <laughs> the people we are pursuing are went down in here. Why does everything seem to end up in a sewer in this town, I think? All right, I will start going down. Uh, give, give me a dex. I'm, give me a dex. I am the most fighterly type here, so I probably should lead. <laughs> oh, uh, come on, dice. Jesus, that well, that is still that's a ten. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, you're gonna get down there very fast. Uh, Camille. Five. Uh, Rosa, Camille will land on you as she takes the uh, expeditious route. But I'm small. That's true, Nikos. Uh, what, which are we running? Uh, Dex. acrobatics decks, okay, just straight up decks. Anybody here? He, nobody here heals, do they? Nope, uh, nope. 22. <laughs> you are able to scale down really good. Goat boy land, sticks the landing. Uh, Rosa, <clears throat> you get two rolls of damage uh, one for landing on your face, and one for Camille. Ah, snake eyes, two hit points. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> Uh, Nico, Nico tries to bound around them to get out the way. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, because uh, Camille, what are you? A halfling? Mm -mm, no. Yes. You're a halfling. Yep. Uh, Nikos, what are you? Uh, Seder. So you're kind of small. Mm -hmm. It'll be a tight fit, but you guys can form a one-person line if you want, or if you want to be safe, you can go ahead and have one of them step back. Uh, the wet grates were not kind to you, or the, I'm sorry, the wet iron rungs were not kind to you. Uh, and it appears to have been raining recently. Uh, can everybody see in the dark? I'm a human, so no. And neither can the halfling, and neither Satyrs do not have dark vision for being fey. Give, me, you give me perception check, everybody. Um, light. I, this I do oh. have... I don't see twelve. Nikos, I, I oh, I'm sorry. Uh, perception. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see shit. What do I see? Uh, ten. <laughs> so he doesn't see anything either. All three of you roll a d twenty straight up. Oh God. Oh hey, that's that's great. Now I roll a seventeen. Eleven. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Nico, say lit torches drop from above from Gumby. <laughs> You'll need this. Uh, and it almost sets you on fire. As the torch drops down, it lands in a small puddle of water, but does not extinguish. You also oh. notice an old cask of ale with a bunch of torches in it that clearly uh, somebody, maybe smugglers, maybe homeless, uh, maybe sexual deviants used to go ahead and get around here. So if you want to grab an extra torch, you may. If you just want to hang on to the one that Gumby tossed down, uh, you can do that as well. I'll take a couple. Okay. Uh, 
Nico this, picks up the torch. <laughs> this area that you are in seems to be a major cistern area. Uh, there is a definitive rise to your right, which would coincide with going up into the hillside district. Uh, there are, I think, two points of exit here. Yes, there are. Uh, there are two points of exit. So you are on like a slight bridge. Underneath the water is rushing from the hillside. Uh, there are iron rungs next to it, and you can climb down into the water main that goes towards the docks, or you can continue on dry land, uh, which is kind of straight ahead. Uh, I defer to Camille. <laughs> dry or wet? However I'd, you like it. I'd rather be dry, personally. All right, let's do that. Uh, let's see. After walking nearly a block under the city, a dim light will be spotted. A 15 by 15 foot arched chamber is here, but no shadows can be seen. Everybody, perception check. Oh, hey, there we go. That 20. <laughs> and, geez. <laughs> uh, Rosa, Rosa and Nikos, you hear a slight... Uh, Camille, you hear nothing. I hold the torch up. As you like... hold the torch up, a gentleman holding a chain whips around the corner, squaring off with you. The large mastiff does not look happy to see you. Neither does the man. Neither do I. I don't look happy to see them either. So the feeling is mutual. I draw my sword, by the way, as soon as I heard that growl. Okay. Uh, the man says, show me the sign. Don't be the <laughs> sign for you. <laughs> exactly. Everybody initiative. <laughs> We're doing it the hard way. <laughs> Sorry. 17. First year. You know what? I should not have a plus one weapon. I don't think at third level. 16 for Nico. Uh, hang on. That would be a t dirty 20 for me. 3020 is up first. Rosa, what do you want to do, dog or man? Uh, because you can see his hand. Drop the chain. Um, Jeez, I don't know if he's a caster of some sort. I'm going to go for the dog. Okay. Well, he might be a caster. I'm going for the for dog. The dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If he, I don't, my point is I don't know if he is. I don't know which one right now is the bigger threat because they have not really acted. I know what the dog does, so I'm going with the devil I know. Gotcha. Uh, the, that'd be a 16 to hit. That hits. All right, and that is... Oh, wait, that's right, because I'm a swashback when I got that that uh, particular swashbuckler uh, class thing. I can sneak attack this thing even if nobody else is... I assume I had to step up to get him, right? Yep. So no one else is within five feet. Nobody. Let me make sure. I, let me make sure I, that that is still a thing. Or that's a thing at this point. I think it is. Because last time I played this, it was seventh level. So I have. Yep. Can fancy you... player. During your turn, if you make a melee attack, a creature. Like, oh no. Oh, creature. That creature also can't make <clears throat> any attacks against me. And what is my sneak attack? Is it one? Sorry, I said I played at higher level, so. So you don't need advantage on the tackle, you just sneak attack. Okay, so I guess I do have that. What is my sneak attack? 2d6. Okay. And it's a d8. Nah. Uh, oh, well, that's good. 8, 12, 13. Uh, and 3 is 16 points of damage against the Mastiff. Bad dog. Camille, you're up next. I will cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay. Uh, you going to do a cantrip as well or no? Oh, hang on. I've got a cat here. <laughs> oh. Worldwide Ajax. Um, the cat wants to play too. He does. Uh... We're all cat people tonight, so. 
See, I am a cat person. I really do like cats. I am a tabaxi. <laughs> How about Ray of Frost at the dog? Okay. Man, no love for the dog. God. See if you hit him. We're definitely all kind of fuck. Is that a one? <laughs> yes. Rose is the only one in range. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, roll your damage and give her half. Um, if you had any warts or hemorrhoids, they're now frozen and <laughs> banged off of you. Thanks for stepping up. So it begins. Four. Uh, so halved two. Yes. Rosa takes two. Nikos, you Her are. Oh, that was on me. I'm sorry. So you froze the warts off of my ass. <laughs> Uh, Nico's gonna take his quarter staff and he's gonna uh, uh, square off against the guy and uh, swing for the cheap seats. So two handed, yeah. Come on, oh, he's not gonna hit him with that. Damn it, seven. <laughs> yeah, you're a little bit off. Yeah, Casey at the back. <laughs> yeah. That's a whiff. You're Robert Redford. You're taking the money. Uh, the Mastiff's gonna go after Rosa. Of course he is. Uh, not with the two. Uh, the human will go after Nikos. Uh, not with a seven, uh, unless a ten nope. hits you. Nope. Uh, top of the order, Rosa mm -hmm. with the frostbite on her ass. You're up. Ah, what was that? Sorry, my, sorry. Well, my butt is kind of hot, but you know it doesn't really need to be cooled off here. And she's probably or, wearing leather pants, so they better. might look great naked. Probably wearing like tight leather pants. That's a third. Wait, that's a thirteen to hit. Does you that will hit? kill the dog. Oh, oh, I oh whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, wait. What's the awe for? You guys both went at it with full. <laughs> I mean, there's there's no awe. <laughs> yeah, could have done like what is that? That's ten, thirteen points of damage. It had yep. one hit point left. Um, oh, yeah, Nico wasn't going to attack the dog, you know. Then you know, I'm going animal. to I'm going to step up to the other the other guy and you know make myself I'm a target. Fair enough, Camille, you're up. I whack him in the shin with my quarter staff. Okay. Nine. Nope. Damn. Nikos. Uh, Nico says, "Screw this." <laughs> Firebolt. <laughs> nice. Uh, 16. Misses. What goes, the? Goes over the shoulder. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> wow. A 16 missed. The man starts screaming and will go after uh, one to two Rosa, three to four Nikos, five to six Camille, four Nikos. Uh, that's an at 20. He oh. connects solidly. Oh, he gets two attacks. Oh, uh, his other attack at disadvantage will go against Rosa. Uh, D six plus two. Nikos take three hit points on a shitty roll. Rosa uh, ten plus three thirteen. Or I'm sorry, ten plus four fourteen. That does not hit. Ha ha. Top of the order, Rosa the Swashbuckler. Uh, he is yelling for help. Uh oh. We need to science this right now. Um, I said I assume that I can use the normal roguish sneak attack when I have a buddy. So, seventeen is your magic number to hit this guy. Seventeen. <laughs> oh, that's only a fifteen. So wing uh, and a miss. Come <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Ten. 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 Okay. Fog cloud. No, <laughs> no, we're not doing that again. We're not doing that not again. Right now. Um, I will use my quarter staff again. Okay. Shit. Ten. Is that a one? No, it's a ten. Nikos. Okay. Yeah, didn't work the first time. Just gotta work the second time. I'm gonna gotta try firebolt again. Time. Come on, Nikos. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Nice. Thank you. Hasn't been hit yet, so he's not going down. Four okay. points of damage, fire damage. Uh, first one, one Rosa. Second one, 
one Rosa. So Rosa. Oh, I didn't even hit him last time. Jeez. You killed his dog, bitch. Uh, <laughs> the normal attack. I'm a terrible person. Is an eight plus four twelve, and the at disadvantage attack. Wait, what was the first one? Sorry, I didn't hear. Oh, that misses. Uh, an 18 and a 2, so the 2 for disadvantage. So that misses. So, Rosie, you're back up. Haha, uh -huh, 2 hit. You, you suck. And I'm going to, of course, we'll see if I do any better. Says Frosty Ass. Uh, yeah, Frosty Ass. No, I did not do better. Jesus, it's an 11. Camille. I get from mocking him. He's still screaming, too. Damn it. Is that a 1? Yes. <laughs> I like that. Uh, yes. Odd Rosa, even Nikos. Oh, no. <laughs> even. Do your damage and have it for Nikos. Uh, Nikos is magic resistant. Two. Uh, uh, she was using her quarter staff. Oh, God damn it. He's spanking you, so baby. Two is halved? Or... No, that's halved. Okay. Yeah. Two hit points to Nikos as you get the whoo -hoo. Uh Nikos, <laughs> you are up. A lot of butt action tonight, folks. Uh, remember, we're for mature audiences only. <laughs> well, then you, should like, say, hey. <laughs> but then you should say ass action, you know? It's got a good alliteration there. Yeah, but butt action sounds dirty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anus. It, what is it uh, in Get Hard? Always check, check the, the anus. anus. Yeah. Always <laughs> check the anus. All right. He's going to uh, fireball this gentleman again. Okay. 18 again. <laughs> it is. Let's see if I can do better. Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're chopping away at him at least. Yeah. Uh, first attack, two. Second attack, five. <laughs> First attack, Rosa. Disadvantage attack on Camille. Uh, Rosa. Uh, 12 plus 4, 16. And that is my AC. And disadvantage, Camille. 16 and 5. The 5 is not going to do it. Rosa, take 2 plus 2, 4 hit points. And Rosa, you're up. And he disappears. <laughs> He's got to go get that bear. Oh, man. I wish I could freaking hit the button. Yep, I called it. <laughs> that's right. Even if it's pussy beer. Well, oh. it, uh, uh, that's going to miss too because I can't fucking roll the Oh, oh, Frank. Frank, 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 Frank. I need like 11. Frank's hits. over 50, man. Uh, Camille, you're up. <laughs> since Rosa. This will be my third D20 of the night. Oh. 21. Not 20? Or just 21? Just 21. There oh. you go. <laughs> you finally hit. I do. I do hit. Uh, uh, Rear staff is what, 6? D6. One, six. Six. There you go. 2. Well, you got one 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 quarter of the amount Nikos has done, so that's a plus. Nikos, uh, pad your score. Your turn to hit. Nikos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Nikos is gonna fire another firebolt, then he's gonna spend uh, uh, a sorcery point, and uh, with that, he is going to quicken his next spell. Fair so. enough. All right, uh, let's see. So, Firebolt first. Uh, 11 is not going to hit. Uh, bonus action. Uh, he's going to Chaos Bolt him. Well, didn't you use a sorcery point? Uh, I, you, I used the sorcery point, but the sorcery point turns uh, your next spell into a bonus action. Oh, okay. So. Fair enough. And, on, and it's a spell. You know I don't Frank. read the book, so. And it's a spell, Frank. That's fair. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a mess. Uh, everybody Ten. perception before I start dealing out damage. Oh, boy. Oh, that's 
That's way, but why 19. can't I roll something to hit, sir? Uh, that's a 22. And Nikos? Uh, I'm sorry, what am I rolling? Perception. Perception, oh. I thought I was the purpose of it, but okay. Nope. No, I think uh, it's others uh, 12, 12 perception. You guys all hear footsteps. Yeah. Uh, Jeez. Uh, first attack is a four. Second at disadvantage is a five. Uh, Nikos, seven plus four is 11. Camille at disadvantage, 16 and four. So that's going to miss. Top of the order, Rosa, there be people coming. Uh, roll a die and tell me odd or even. Oh, okay. I was going to say a die. That's helpful. I guess I'll roll a murder hobo die. Uh, even. Uh, they're coming from behind this guy. Uh, so they'll be, okay, so they're going to be coming in as we're facing them. Cool. Well, that makes sense. All right. Well, there's not much I can do, but I assume it's my turn. So, I mean, they're not there yet, so I have one target. Come on, damn it. It might be helpful if I rolled more than fours, fives, and sixes. No, it wouldn't. Camille, you're up. Uh, I'm going to cast Ray of Sickness. Okay. On Nikos or Rosa? Oh, <laughs> are they in the way? No. Uh, well, they're in the way if you roll another one. <laughs> Here, Ajax. Yep. Give it a kiss. There we go. Oh, come on, Ajax. Make it work. 14. Nope. Swing and a miss. Uh, Nikos, you're up. Um... Okay, uh, Mr. Dog Handler is going to have to make a Dex 15 save. Uh, not even close. I don't even have to check. Three. Okay, I create a bonfire around him. <coughs> uh, imaginary or real? Real. Okay. Uh, uh, just four points of flame damage for this round. Uh, he begins to scream and howl. He will fight on an odd. He will try and <laughs> jump back on an even. He's fighting. Uh, first attack, two, Rosa. Second attack, a disadvantage, five, Camille. Rosa, uh, 10 plus four, 14. Wait, uh, who against two? Wait, you? me? You? Yep. Misses, you need the 16s to hit two. Right. Camille, I got a six and a three, so neither one of those is going to hit. Rosa, two figures are coming up behind the giant emolliated uh, guardsman here. Uh, you are up. Well, since he is still in between them and me, although I can't pick freaking... Oh, I'm so frustrated with my dice rolls here. What do I need again? Oh, yeah, that's a 13, so that's closer. 17. Yeah, so I need, oh, I need 12s. Yeah, that's what I need. And I can't friggin' roll above a 10. Uh, Camille, you're up. Is that a one? Yes. Odd uh, Rosa, even Nikos. <laughs> oh, man. And I was supposed to be the chaotic one tonight. Oh, sure. Now I roll a 20. Even. Uh, Nikos. Oh, Damn it, Nikos! You rolled. You did a spell, and we forgot to do wild magic. Yeah, I told you. I called. Yeah, it. yeah. Three. Three it's, round down. Yeah. Is it a is it a spell? One. Yeah, I'm magic resistant, so I think it's. Are you using your staff for a spell? No, spell. Uh, I'm I'm oh, okay. so I'm at. That's oh, yeah. things Okay, with so yeah, you're you're fine, Nikos. You're up. Okay. Uh, with that, I'm just say, oh, screw it. Uh, <laughs> All right, Adrian. oh, this is gonna get interesting. Magic missile. That's a spell. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome spell. Well, go ahead and hit him. Okay, first one is four. And I think what? How many missiles is it at this 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 level? It's, level one. Yeah. Level three, you mean? Uh, your third it, level. No, no, no. I mean spell level. Uh. Ooh, a one d4 how many darts three darts okay the second one is two points six yep and the third one is three points that's enough to knock him down but now roll a d4 for your wild magic yep oh boy 
three. One. Uh, nothing happens. Uh, the fire starts to burn off, and you guys are facing off with two more thugs. Uh, new initiative. Oh, new initiative. Okay. 19. Ooh, 23 for Nikos. Wow, okay. Uh, 15. Uh, 23 is up first. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start lighting fires. So, uh, is Mr. Dog Handler still up? Is he still alive? No, he's dead. He's dead? He's dead. These two smugglers do not look nearly as well armed as this guy. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, uh, set a spot right, right at the the two smugglers. Uh, so they have to do a, yeah, uh, cantrip. (laughs) Uh, so they gotta make, uh, 15 dex save, both of them. Uh, there's an 18 and a 6. So one makes it, one does not. Okay. Uh, let's see. The one that doesn't make it uh, takes two points of damage. Okay. Save or suck. Yeah, it's save or suck. Yeah. Uh, 19 is up next. Camille. But whatever he's wearing is on fire. So. <laughs> uh, leather armor. It's been boiled, so he's fine. He's fine. His pantaloons might... Might be a little singed. <laughs> uh, As is his merkin. Oh, crap. Ooh, 20. Nat 20? Yep. Uh, roll your damage, re-roll your damage, add your modifier. Nice. That makes up for all the ones. No, it doesn't. Uh... You guys are beat to shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, we probably should have asked if we're not, we could have any healing Six. potions. Shoulda. Six damage to which uh, <laughs> Frank's like, ha ha, shoulda. Uh, <laughs> shoulda. Whichever one. Uh, Ow. Is there one that has more damage than another? There's <laughs> one that's been hurt. Yeah, we'll give it to him. Eight. Uh, uh, it's their turn. Uh, let's see. First one will go after four, Nikos. Second one goes after five, Camille. Nikos. They went right by me? Two. Yep. Uh, Twelve plus four. Sixteen get you, Camille? Yes. Jesus Christ. Take three hit points of damage. Okay. Uh, Rosa, you are up. Um, I'll pick on the guy who's hurt. Nice. Oh, Everybody yeah. goes after the gimp. <laughs> I know, a 12 doesn't hit, does it? Because I can't... I've tried four sets of dice now. 12 does not hit. Nico's <laughs> top of the order. Okay. These uh, guys are also yelling. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, I am going to, um, yeah, the one that I tried to set on fire, he's going to have to make a strength uh, save. 15. Uh, no. Okay. He, uh, Maximilian's earthen fist is going to come up and <laughs> grab him. Push him in the nuts? Yep. <laughs> uh, that will him kill nuts. him because he had one hit point left. Oh, <laughs> okay. Good. Ka-tink, ka-tink, ka-tink. His nudicles go rolling across. <laughs> yeah. uh, Camille, you see an earthen fist come plowing out of the sewer uh, and crush this one guy. He crosses his eyes, gives the comedic oof, and falls to the ground lifeless. Uh, the other one is still alive. What would you like to do? Uh, I will attack him with... Uh... <coughs> We'll dry a ray of frost again. 14. You get any modifiers of that? Uh, Should be to the right. Plus next four. To the okay. 18. Yeah, you hit him. Okay. And. He looks a lot eight. like Rosa's ass. Nice. <laughs> My ass is melted by now. Four. Rather, the frost is melted by now. My ass is still looks good. Nicely <laughs> done. Now that's on the edge. 
Uno, he's going to go after Rosa the Frostless. Rosa the Frostless. Uh, 14 plus 4, 18. Oh, that hits. <laughs> right in the keister. Ooh. I, five hit points now. I told you I could have played a clerk today. <laughs> I told you to do so. I was like, we already have a caster. Rosa, you are up. I'm friggin' ow. All right, try again. Come on. Freaking Uh, well, that's a that's a 13. Uh, that is not enough. I cannot roll above a 10. This is so frustrating. Nikos, you're up. Oh, don't sweat it, Rosa. <laughs> I do better than this. And those pants, Rosa probably. Sucks. Rosa <laughs> sucks. Rosa sucks. Uh, I'm going to firebolt him. Okay. Uh, let's see. Does ooh, 20 hit him? It's dirty. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, 15 will hit these guys. Okay. Uh, that is six points of damage. Ouch. He's hurting now, but he does get the attack. That's a three. Never mind. They suck too. <laughs> Your dice oh. are as good as mine. Oh wait a minute, Rose or Camille gets to go before me. Go ahead, Camille. <coughs> Seven. That's a miss. Now I'll go. Go ahead, Rosa. Finish him off. That's a two. Yeah, Come right. on, Rosa. It's like my third two. Hey. Do it! <laughs> oh, all right. So. You can do it. Oh, that's the guy up top. Yeah, I see double digits. Oh, my God. Uh, so that's a 17. That hits. Holy crap. Let's say, what you expect? We're level three. <laughs> oh, better than this. Once if it can hit, I can do pretty good damage, though. That is eight. And You're too used to your regular character. <laughs> 13 and 3 is 16 points of damage. He's dead. Uh, everybody, audio perception check. I'll okay. roll for Camille. 17, so she'll hear it. Nikos and Rosa. Uh, 15 for Nikos. That hears it. Rosa. Sorry, what was that? Audio uh, perception. Audio. Oh, audio per uh, perception. Uh, yeah. Um, that would be a ten. Yeah, you hear the same thing: the sound of rushing water and silence. Oh no! <laughs> so their screams went unheeded. You have three dead smuggler bodies and one dead dog. Uh, the area that you are in is an antechamber. But in order to continue on, it is a bridge. So the rushing water is going underneath the bridge. Okay. I want to loot these <clears throat> people first. That's uh, a, I'll have a healing potion in there. The one guy might, actually. <laughs> I could use one right now. I have. I am under 10. On a scale uh, of 1 to 21, I'm about an 8. Nice. Uh, the first guy that you faced off with does have a potion of healing and 12 gold pieces in the form of a golden bracelet of foreign design. Uh, the other two each have six gold pieces, uh, just as gold, not of jewelry. Uh, the dog has nothing. Oh, you know what? I'm going to give the dog a cool uh, collar that says bingo. You have killed bingo. Oh. <laughs> I almost made it pal. You've killed pal. So, tough shit. Uh, there is a potion and it is marked here. Well, Rosa better take the potion. I was going to say, I probably will take the potion too, literally. What is it? Yeah, should. <laughs> what is the, uh, what is the 1d8 plus 2, no ones. All right, I will take the potion. So one day, so that's eight points back. I put the right. collar on. I'm looking better. Wow. Yes. <laughs> you put the dog collar on. Yes. Uh, I was about to say, if you're into that kind of thing, bingo could take another meaning. <laughs> it's like <laughs> that's my safe word. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
my safe word is mm, mm, mm. Mm. Uh, okay you guys have uh, gotten your shit together you notice that just outside of the CNT chamber uh, again there is a bridge slash walkway and it runs uh, parallel to the flowing sewage uh, so you can either take the iron rungs down or continue up in a spot of dryness do you want to continue on the dry? I have a funny feeling we're going to have to probably go into nastiness at some point. But do we want to stay on the drier spots? What does what do would you two like to do? Well, which would be easier to move merchandise in crates? Probably the dry land, right? That is a good theory. Good theory, yes. I don't know. But Will it float? <laughs> I guess we'll find out in the end. <laughs> it's the sewer. Everything floats down here. I mean, there's the thing too. Would you put it in a nastier spot to protect it? Oh, I, we can we can dot a lot logic on this all night. So let's decide. But we'll stick to the dry spot, drier spot for now. But something tells me we are going to have to get into okay. it. Okay, uh, the wet spot. You know, we may give ourselves away with a little splishy, splish, splish, splish kind of thing so that is true so dry or for dry i vote for dry also you said they were crying out for help didn't you yep well we know there'll be more coming all right let's let's move i guess we'll find out if we run into whoever it is that they called for if they were heard well it's a little late to be <laughs> subtle so <laughs> let's you go about well, another block on dry land and you come to another crossing. This one doesn't look as firm as the other one, but the uh, parallel line of sewage runs underneath. Uh, so you can use the iron rungs to go down into the sewage or you can stay on the dry area. He's giving us that choice. He's either going to fo force us down <laughs> or... No, it, it, it's just the way the map's written. So. Sure, sure. You want to stay dry? Or do you want to go down there? I don't know. I feel almost, I, you, you know, know we'll stay. let's just get it over with. Fine. All right, fine. We go down. Uh, everybody give me uh, dex checks to dex make it down into the river. Jeez, it's going to. Uh, that's a nope. Three. Damn it, I can't oh, roll. Oh man. <laughs> Nine. Nine. All three of you show. Sploosh. <laughs> right, wasn't into the, right into the drink. Everybody takes one hit point, but now oh. everybody roll a D twelve against me. Oh Lord. Against you. Yeah, we're if, fighting. If you lose to me, you've got poop on you. I got oh, twelve. Oh no. I got twelve. Wait, you two got wait, if you two got Prestidigitation. I rolled an 11. Actually. I have prestidigitation. So, so then it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, oh, I just ruined Frank's fun. <laughs> you got a 12? No, I got an 8. I got uh, Rosa tied. Camille beat. Nikos has a turd in his collar. Uh, uh, I like I I, I'm just like I <laughs> prestidigitated off. <a lot. laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter that you prestidigitated off. You know it was there. I know it was there. <laughs> You're going to develop a tick. Uh, like, oh. As Just you go into the water. Off. <laughs> well, it's clean now. <laughs> Doesn't matter. As, as you, just burn yourself. Just burn it right off. Uh, you know what? Uh, you guys are all also in total darkness because Rosa was holding the torch. Oh. Nope. Holding the torch. Nico's all right. I cast dancing lights. So, foot, foot, foot. Oh. Uh, the dancing lights goes down the sewer. You guys travel about a block and you come to a T zone. Uh, opting to avoid more smugglers, you jump into the water passage and move down a sloping tunnel. With waste swirling around you and on you, you find yourself in a round chamber with a large metal grate in the center. A variety of non liquid items are piled up here, and the chamber appears to be a catch basin. There are pieces of wood, fabric, Metal housewares. Uh, everybody, perception check. Yeah, I'm looking for the uh, for the box. 
that is a 10. 13 for Nico. Everybody sees different things, but you notice that there is a pewter pitcher with a sealed lid. Next to this item is a wooden plank with an octopus branded into it. Uh, and clearly this item comes from one of the ships in the harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, and a cloak. Ooh. Hmm. So those are the three things that you spot. Uh, the 20 can choose what they want first, followed by, I think, Rosa beat the next one. Is that right? Uh, I think so. I got the... So a pitcher, a cloak, or... Uh, the wooden plank. Well, yeah. I know I rolled low, so I, I rolled a thirteen. I'll take so. the cloak. You guys, you guys beat me out. I rolled like a, I, I figured. I think I rolled like a ten. Camille grabs the cloak. Nikos, what do you want? Uh, I'll grab the pitcher. Okay, and that leaves the wooden plank for Rosa, who correctly identifies that it came from a ship out in the harbor. Uh, Camille, do you want to try the cloak on, or do you want to take a look at it? I would like I'll to clean it off it. for you, dear. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're so kind. Uh, Finger gun it. Nikos cleans off the uh, uh, leeches that are on it. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. They're and it is a stylish cloak. You might be able to get 20 gold pieces out of it uh, now that it's clean. It is going <laughs> to dip into the water since you are a halfling now. Uh, and you know what? We keep forgetting. Every time you roll a one, you get to re-roll ones. Keep forgetting that. Because right. you're, you're a halfling. Yeah, you're lucky. Oh, that's right. Oh. That halfling what? Bastard, I don't know this. You Come both are, are halflings, hey, I, right? No, she's a human, she's a human. halfling. Got it. Uh, Nikos, you have the pitcher. Uh, it comes with a sealed lid, sealed with wax. Do you want to open it up? Uh, I clean it off first, <laughs> and then uh, it's just like, should I? And um, yeah. I go ahead and I break the seal on it. Uh, we... You can guess that it's going to fetch you ten gold pieces, but inside a pair of potion bottles are present, and they oh. appear to be wax sealed as well. Okay. One is blue, one is light blue. Okay. Blue. White. White blue. Nice. Okay. Well, uh, I reach in and pull them out. And I'm like, we have these. I have no idea what they do. <laughs> poison. They're poison. Yeah. Uh, from this catch basin area, you can continue straight. You can go left, which would be back the way you came. Or you can go right, which is where the dry land would have taken you. What is it that the kids do these days? I don't know. I'm 50. What the fuck? Is that? What the hell are you doing? I don't know. Having a stroke, apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, 911, Grandpa's having a stroke. No, no, I was like pointing that way. So. You can see the kids were going all right. Right? Yeah, we can go. I guess go right. Yeah, we can go right. Uh, you go about a block, block and a half, maybe two blocks. You aren't really sure. Uh, the sewer continues, but just up above is a small walkway. Uh, I will take perception checks from all of you. Four. Hey, there we go. That's a double digit number. Uh, so that is a 17. Nikos? 13. Only Rosa knows that somebody is up top there. And I go, I look at them and go, shh. A, the whistling of a strange tune will be heard echoing throughout the tunnel at this region, and the source will be located here. The confluence of wet and dry tunnels is home to shelving. A leith woman is present here without light and seems to be harvesting something among the shelves. Only Rosa sees this. I'll point it out to them. So we can see her. She's not above. <clears throat> She's above. Uh, D12 against me, Rosa. Okay. Five. Nine. Uh, she whips around and you can tell that she is a half-elf. And she goes, what are you people doing down there? We're looking for some ill-gotten goods. You wouldn't happen to know about that, would you? 
She kicks a small pebble and pops you in the head with it. Are you <laughs> accusing me of theft there, dearie? <laughs> No, I'm not accusing you of theft. I just said there has some, been some ill-gotten goods that have been brought down here. We do, uh, do I look like a smuggler to you? Not particularly, but maybe you might know who is. What is. What else is down here? What half-elf wants to hang out down here anyway? That do, is you, do, you, do you want to go up and see what she's doing? Sure. Sure. Uh, as you get up there, she is harvesting mushrooms. <laughs> she points out that she is Nellie Fosterly. She owns an eatery above and uses this section of the sewers to grow mushrooms for her menu. You know that's She's gross, a right? It's a sewer. Poop shrooms. Yeah, you know, it's, <laughs> it's dock employees. It's not like Anthony Bourdain's wandering around, especially not He's anymore. Dead. He's, He's dead. dead. That's oh. right. Uh, I would say too soon, but no. <laughs> so far, you guys are relatively pleasant, so she will be just as cordial with you, and she will explain the nature of her business. She will state that she has noticed footprints moving through her farm that heads south through a dry tunnel. Um, but I say I will ask: Has she seen anyone? She has not. Who wants to roll a charisma check? I can do that, because I've been rolling like crap tonight. Just to check, right? Yep. Oh, God, that's only a 10. That's all she's got to say to you. That's fair. That's all, that's all I got to say about this. Uh, so she points out that there uh, have been some footprints going through her farm, <laughs> uh, leading to a tunnel directly south. There is another dry tunnel that goes southwest. But she states, inequivocally, the footsteps come from the due south. Okay, then we probably should head due south. What do you think, you two? I agree. Uh, you go a couple of blocks due south, and beams of light flash down the tunnel as a chamber ahead is illuminated. Several stacked boxes can be seen around the perimeter of the room where a large iron brazier sits. Three men lean over a table looking at some paperwork. A, click, a quick glance at the boxes indicate burn marks of a mermaid, an octopus, a dolphin, and several others. Your investigation rubs a small stick against the floor. Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, as you are peering in, uh, you step on a small stick and uh, it gives a loud crack and the men spin around. Uh, we couldn't avoid the stick. Uh, you were carrying your own torch, so they would have seen that. Uh, good news is there's a couple of smugglers missing. Initiative, everybody. Whew, that blows. The dice are, uh, see, now I roll a nat 20, so that's a 26. I don't know why I roll it now. I want it when I hit. Uh, 10 for Nikos. And Camille? Six. Yeah, I beat somebody. <laughs> uh, Rosa, there are four smugglers here. Oh, God, this is going to probably hurt. Uh, I will try a different way. I don't know how to handle it. Um. Give me a sec. I'm trying to think if there's anything I could come out and say or whatever. Um, I'm a pirate, so it's yes, I count it down. Uh, or do you just want to be? To I have an <laughs> in with the other captains. Let me bring wealth to you. That's what you say. Nice. <laughs> All right, uh, Hey, hey, everyone. Um, Let's liquidate a brick of cocaine and yeah. let me build wealth for you. <laughs> I, I'm wondering if you were, we're wondering if actually you're looking for more smugglers to help you out with your cause we're going to go with persuasion huh yeah well that's one of my that's actually something I'm good at we'll see alright you want me to roll it I gotta roll it oh out. yeah <laughs> yeah roll <laughs> fucker so that's 27 ah. nicely done <laughs> yes we are Show us the sign. The sign. 
Well, we were not told about the sign. We were just looking. You know, we, we, we heard about there were some smugglers around, and I am a pirate. And, uh, you know, we wanted to come here and offer our services. How did you get down here? We got down through the, through the friggin', you know, sewer grate. And where's Jerry? Uh, Jerry? Taking a nap. Yeah. A dirt he's... nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just sleeping. We walked by him. He was taking a permanent nap. Uh, then perhaps you can explain to me why Bingo's collar is around her neck. <laughs> <laughs> You have chatted. You have chatted away, so it'll fall to Nikos and I. <laughs> My dice rolls have been, except for that one. Because Nikos, you, I you love and I tied. that dog, uh -huh. and he is my friend. Thanks for taking evidence, Nico. You and I tied. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> What a, wait, what is it? I, I was so enamored about their 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 tries. So wait, what's going on? Four, four smugglers. Four smugglers. They're okay. gonna beat them. And fortunately, Camille has uh, decided to put on the dog collar. Okay. Uh, well, if so, she didn't, I was going to. So are we all trying to talk out of this, or? Well, that's oh, a you can, but they're they're. You and I tied on initiative. They're grabbing their weapons. Okay, gotcha. It's blood time. You it's blood time. Okay. Hey, Nico, if you've got a way to explain her dog collar, how she would end up with Bingo's collar, otherwise attack him. What's his face said, you know, I don't want a real dog anymore. I want a dog. Yeah, that's why she wore him out. That's why Jerry's taking a nap. Right? <laughs> Roll at disadvantage on persuasion, because <laughs> I'm going to kick the shit Yay. out of you guys. That was a good idea. That I was a great with, idea. I came okay. up with a plausible You said at disadvantage? Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the first was a 19, and then I roll an 8. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's so we stopped and thought about it for a second. <laughs> no, I wish to attack. Uh, the extra attacker goes to... <laughs> Six, Camille. So, uh, on Rosa. Uh, four plus 11 is 15. That misses. Nikos. Uh, 10 plus four, 14. No, just misses me. Camille, two attacks. Uh, a nat one. Uh, <laughs> and a 15 plus four, 19. I assume that one hits. Yes. You will have advantage if you wish to take it on the one that rolled the one. Uh, oh, camera. Three hit points of damage. Okay. Uh, and that brings us to Camille. Schlamazel. Haas and Pfeffer. There we go. <gasps> She rolled a net 20. Huh? I did. Yay! Okay. Uh, roll your damage, re-roll your damage, and add your modifier. Okay, so. Are you using the staff? Uh, yes. Uh, 2d6, and I don't think you get a uh, modifier. Because your strength blows. Seven is what I got. That, What's that my modifier? Help. You don't have any modifiers because okay. your strength is what nine. Mm. I left. Uh, yes. Yeah, you don't get any modifiers. Uh, actually, you get minus one, I think. Yeah. Uh, top of the order. Uh, let's go with Rosa. Damn, we could have done this the easy way, but you're going to do it the fun way. All right, let me try to attack. These guys do not have shields. Their AC is 14. Oh, well, wait a minute. Oh, God damn it, that's a 13. Wah, wah. <laughs> uh, Nikos, you and I tied, so even if you kill me, I'll still get to hit you. Okay. Uh, how's your guy looking? <laughs> uh, the guy on you has not been hit. The guy on Rosa has not been hit. One of the Camille guys has not been hit. And the other one is hurt. Okay. 
what do they say in the self-defense courses? You know, grab, pull, twist. Sing, sing. <laughs> so, so he has step. to do. He's got. He's got to do a uh, fifteen strength save. Uh, seventeen on the die roll. Oh, he manages to pull away. <laughs> uh, it's boom time, Rosa. That one, you'll have advantage on your attack on that guy. Yeah, uh, yeah. 14 on Nikos. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Uh, does a 14 hit Camille? And you have mage armor on. No, not currently. There you go. Uh, Camille, you're up. Hurricane Camille, come on. 18. Hits. Um. I'll try Ray Frost again. Well, you hit him, so do your damage. Okay. <coughs> Five. Uh, that's. Uh, did you go after the guy that you hit before? Yes. He's dead. Frosty. He's icy hot. Top of the order, Rosa. All right. So I'll pick. I guess the one, the one on me is not dead. I would assume. God. Oh, I rolled to vantage this time. Yes. Well, that certainly made a big difference because that is a 17 on the die, which is going to hit. That hits. And D8 and D8, D8. Six plus three is nine plus five is 14 plus, I assume it's three again. I'm on the wrong screen here. Uh, what did I say? Four, so 17 points of damage. Oh, yeah. He's fucking dead. And a half. You cut through him. Uh, Nikos, you're up. Remember, you and I tied, so even if you kill me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to firebolt him. Okay. And uh, 17. That is a cantrip, correct? Yeah, it's a cantrip. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, big ol' seven points of damage. Yeah, that hurts him. Uh, so against you. Uh, the 16 plus 4, dirty 20. Okay. Against Camille, how about I roll a d20 and not a d12? <laughs> that would be good. Uh, didn't make any difference at all. Uh, so 1d6 plus 2. <coughs> uh, 4 damage. Okay. I am rolling for shit. Camille, <laughs> or, Camille you're up. Yeah, I'm going to stop feeling so bad because honestly, you're rolling just as bad as I am. It's a bad night for dice. Four. Really? To hit? Four to hit, or is that damage? Uh, to hit. Oh. Rosa, top of the order. Your guy is dead. Nikos's is wounded, and Camille's is fine. All right. Um, whoever's next in order, I guess. Help, help, help. I'm being repressed. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of the two of them would be closer to me? Because I'll just step up and hit whoever is closest to me. <sighs> Make up one. One. Uh, Nikos's. Okay, then I'll step up to Nikos's and I'll try hitting it. And I'll fail with a friggin' one. <coughs> oh, you didn't fail. How much damage did you do to Nikos? Uh, do I include sneak attack in this? It's not really a... Yep. <laughs> not a very directed shot. Sneak attack as you're hitting vital organs. You were probably trying to undercut Nikos's enormous manhood to stab the guy in the knee. Instead, you're a moyle. All right, so I'll do the math for hats. This is not going to be good because I rolled a five and a six on my sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> so the name Nikos oh, makes points. me think of Nico from Killing Eve. Nine points of damage. Yep. Oh Sorry. man, yeah, and it's not magical, so shit. <laughs> nope. It's just friggin' slight 
slice because I I saved her what you did there. Uh, <laughs> Nikos, you and I are up. <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, really sorry, but that's his freaking rules. Okay, there, there's two of them that are up. Yep, yours is injured. Okay. Um, As are you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I am going to uh, uh, spend a, a sorcery point and twin uh, a firebolt. So one for each one. That moves it up to a spell, right? Nope. Damn oh, it. Yeah, yeah, no, because it's a cantrip. I mean, <laughs> does it move it up to a spell when you... Uh, meta magic. He doesn't know. I I, I think I it does. Oh, he doesn't does. read it. Yeah, he. You mentioned that earlier, but it turns it into a spell. Okay, the first one, fifteen. Fifteen hits. Okay, uh, that hits for seven points of damage. <clears throat> He's dead. And the second one, uh, fifteen. <clears throat> that hits. Then hits. Okay, and hit him for nine points of damage. So you hit once on yours and once on the other one? Mm-hmm. Uh, what, uh, let's just do one for a spell. Sure. Okay. What did you roll? Three. Uh, I'll let you roll a percentage. <laughs> okay. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Uh, There's see. a lot of good stuff on here, though. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. You you pick what it does. Okay. Uh, 15%. So 15. Uh, for the next minute, the energy type of all your spells with an energy type is changed to fire. So who gives a shit? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You killed yours, but not before you got to attack. The 16 plus 4. Damn. Jesus Christ. Three hit points. Minimum damage. <clears throat> Camille, 18 plus four is 22. <clears throat> you take four hit points of damage. And you are up. <clears throat> so Nico took three? Uh, yes. <clears throat> so How bad left? is Nico? I am uh, down yours. to three. <laughs> and we still don't know what the blue... We don't know what the are. blue potions do. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Yeah. Feeling hit. lucky, punch and punk. <laughs> don't look like healing potions. Twelve does not hit. Rosa, you're up. All right. So, how many are still up? One. All right. So, I, yeah, obviously, I know who I'm hitting. I don't know. Nikos, does she know who she's hitting? Obviously, she doesn't. <laughs> but, uh, it, said it's it's a terrible night for dice and it's not just mine just does tell it, me you didn't roll a one well, no, i did not roll one the, the, the 12 does not hit though right correct nikos ty you and i okay uh, <laughs> yeah. i always love you nikos <laughs> thanks magic missile <laughs> oh good. Hey, yeah. mercy, get this combat out of its <laughs> one in, uh first is four second is four he's dead third is four <laughs> all right D4. hey there there may be a chance there's a heal in there okay we, two we could try to two. take a yeah so percentage we were, percentage let's see what this gets <laughs> frank's like 54 what? I, I downloaded somebody's homebrew. So. Oh, okay. Okay, 54. <laughs> uh, you regain all expended sorcery points. Okay. All right. That's not, that's not that's bad. bad. Oh, that's actually really good. <clears throat> yeah, too bad I'm not a divine soul <laughs> sorcerer. Uh, Camille, that's a three, so you're up. Is there anybody left? Yours. Oh, no. no. I'm sorry. Nico's killed him, so never yeah. mind down uh there a lot of dead bodies here can we loot them uh each one of them has eight gold pieces on them uh okay. let's see here there's a lot of shit here oh how are we gonna get the shit out exactly uh there's several stacked boxes a large iron brazier there's a table with papers on it that these yahoos were examining before you walked in porn 
There is no, it's actually a list, a solid count of inventory. Mm. Oh, wow. There is a silver handbell on the table. Oh, Lord. And an open box from an octopus. Okay. Uh, and it has two potion bottles in it. <clears throat> what is what they are? One is an aquamarine and one is a red. There are also three broken bottles in there. Wow. Uh, but the papers on the table will give you a solid count of the inventory. Okay. I'll so look at the... papers, silver handbell, two potion bottles. <clears throat> well, we I'll, uh, everybody roll D20 and we'll see. You guys can take your pick. No, I rolled a one. Honestly, I don't care. Fifteen. <laughs> Gosh. Nikos? Three. Uh, Camille, what do you want to grab? Can I look at the inventory to see what the potion bottles are? <laughs> you can check that. Uh, Nikos, what do you want to grab? Uh, the silver bell. And Rosa, you get the potions. One aquamarine, one red. Does that red one look like a healing potion? It's a it bottle is. and it's fluid. <laughs> well, can Wait. I look at the thing and find out? Uh, you can figure out that they are definitely responsible. So this is the evidence that you require. Uh, and it also has at the bottom JG uh, in script. JG. Do we have any idea who that might be? That might be our captain, right? No? No, no, no idea, because you didn't ask the captain her name. Mm. Two bits. You said her name. Oh, that's right. Two her bits. name is Two Bits. So it's not JG. <laughs> but I can't tell what the potions are. Uh, no, but the inventory is not marked with what the uh, definition of the potions are. Well, goddamn, mm. these people aren't good accountants. I was gonna say i do know a lot of the captains and such in this area is there a check like um i don't know what that would say. there's no local there's no knowledge local the the woman she uh she's just a mushroom farmer perhaps maybe alchemist no maybe you could use her charisma and ask her <clears throat> uh you sure her after all yeah, I, I am right kind of charming. Right now, right? <laughs> you want to run back and ask? She's her? got a furry fetish. Uh, sure, sure. You gonna take a torch? Uh, I'm gonna dancing light it. Okay. Uh, you go down the block and a half, two blocks, and uh, there are shelves, but she oh, okay. ain't there. But she ain't there. Aww. Uh, look around the room. Is there any sign of? Anything. Potions. Anything. The mushroom farm. Mushroom farm. A lot of fecal matter and row oh. crops. Okay. Uh, well. No special herbage. No special herbage. Damn it. <laughs> Rosa, give me a perception check. No clue. Okay. It's okay. an app. So no clue. I will go. Yeah, that's a four. <laughs> okay. Uh, I go bounding back. Okay. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> there is one exit out of this room, and it is on dry land. Okay. How heavy are the boxes? We're not going to be able to carry them. Correct. There are a lot of boxes down here. Yeah. So we just needed to identify where they were located. and. I would say that's a fair assessment how to get to them. Mm -hmm. So now we just want the nearest way out of the sewers. So I assume maybe we don't have to go all the way back to where we came. So this time I want to stay, I want to head, I want to head, stay on dry land the whole way until we find a way out. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> you'll go up to the mushroom place. Yep. You'll continue along the dry air. Actually, uh, again, it forks. You believe the road to the, or the scaffolding to the right will take you where you came in. There's also scaffolding towards the left. 
<clears throat> I mean, I admit, well, I mean, I guess she could she could have gone that far. I mean, I would <sighs> We can, what, do you want to try the left and the off chance is a closer exit? Yeah. All right, we'll go to the Camille? left. Go, go to, to the, the left. left. To the left. Sure. To the left. left. To the left. left. Uh, as you go three blocks down a sloping incline, uh, there is a light ahead of you. Can I make a perception check to see if I hear anything? Sure. Is the light stationary or moving or? It is stationary. <clears throat> does it does it seem like a light from a room? Uh, it appears to be torch light in the room. Okay, so I will make a perception check. Uh, that's a sixteen. Uh, you can see the uh, small figure bent over, muttering to themselves. <clears throat> it is not her, though. It's not her. You are hell and gone from her. Okay. So I will approach. I hope that everybody approaches and they're both <laughs> uh, As you approach, uh, there is a bent over man uh, looking at some kind of ancient runes scratched upon the wall of this sewer. Oh, I'll come no. step up behind him and go, hello, what you looking at? No. The man spins around no. <laughs> and says, hello, I am Mortimer J. Sneed, <laughs> yes. teacher at the Grand Academy. I am currently on sabbatical, checking on a few things. Wait, you look wait, familiar. Wait. Yeah, I remember. I whack him in the head with my quarterstaff. Fair enough. Go ahead. But and Camille, how do you know him? <laughs> I do. Okay. Maybe he knows the way out to the Twelve. quicker. Yeah, that hits him. How much damage do you do? Mm. I'm like, I need him, though. No. <laughs> need him, damn it. Four. Warmer J. Sneed falls to the ground with a growing lump on his forehead, and he mutters, uh, Sigil, uh, uh, time travel, uh, 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 before he passes out unconscious. And then oh. I kick him in the stomach. Nice. Oh. Well, I was going to ask him if there was a quicker way out. He there... might be able to identify he's the potions. <laughs> Just let me tell you, he's an asshole. Just saying. Just saying. But, you know, you guys he's, a skill he's a skilled asshole. That's the problem. <laughs> Poor Mortimer J. Sneed looking at the sigils in the, in the Okay, I, I've been down and I, I try to you know, lightly slap his cheeks to get him to wake up. I'm just like, hey. You got potions you him. Yeah, that's true. Let's try the potions on him. If one I of them's a healing potion, I'm going to want it. So. Well, you have a dark blue, a light blue, a medium blue, and a green. When do we get the green? Got I thought we inventory. had a red. You did have a red. Mm. It is now did. green. Oh, okay. Wow. Let's mix them all and give them to him. Oh, nice. oh that is such a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> I, I will take a perception check, please. Oh. Um, 18. The potion's now yellow. Eight, oh, 18. It's a prismatic potion? Wow. We really need him for this. So I'm like, Mortimer, 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 smack, 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 <laughs> Mortimer. Throw uh, water on him. Oh, uh, love of my life, Google. Oh, God. They better have crazy. <laughs> Google. Oh, Mortimer, Mortimer, come on, Mortimer. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> he, he kind of flutters his eyes and he's, he's very dazed and very out of it. The knot on his head is about golf ball size. Oh. The hilt of a scabbard. And he says, who am I? Why am I here? You are Mortimer J. Sneed. <laughs> you are on sabbatical from Golf, the, Grand, the Academy. Grand Academy. None of this sounds familiar to me. Oh. Well, I should have him develop a speech impediment. I can slit his throat. Uh, <laughs> uh, but before you do that, uh, right. I grab the bottles. I'm like, is there any chance that you have any recollection what 
any of these maybe or how you may figure <laughs> them out i'm like holding them you know like he points at one of them and says that's pink like milk of magnesia wait one of them was pink that was the chromatic one that changed again right Oh man! And th this one is a very special homebrew one that I love dearly. Oh, but I don't better. use nearly enough. Okay. I will hurt you later, won't I? Yes. <clears throat> Do you know what it is? No. Mortimer. Mortimer. <laughs> Come Who's on, buddy. This? Who is this Mortimer you speak of? Uh, that's you. That is you. You know. I am Tyranus the Lover, I think. I'm not sure why I know that name. You know what? We should just no. leave. Because at least he's in freaking saying that other thing every two seconds. <laughs> That's true. This may be an improvement. He's back in time. Uh, as Marty. Marty. <laughs> McFly. Yes. Doc! You, you, Doc! <laughs> you, you were trying to get Doc back up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's uh, Doc. Gotta get back. Um, uh, I help him up. I help him to his feet and whatever. We gotta take him with us. Yeah. He true. says, "Let's leave," and he points in the direction that you came from. Okay. Came from. Right. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he's right about that. So. Okay, I'm, I'm helping moving him. You're along. gonna have to help him because he is very wobbly. Yeah, I help him. Oh, kid, kid. Kid, and he's screeching he's loud. Kid, oh, I'm like calm down. <laughs> Still have those potions. <clears throat> I'm like again. I hold him up like a uh, like a fret boy at a kegger. What are these? <laughs> they look like potions. Blue, medium blue, dark blue, lime green. <sighs> now there's four. There's always there been four. Were, there's there's always been three. Nope. No, there were two mm -mm. at the other places. No. Okay. Found... Light blue, medium blue, dark blue, and the one that keeps changing color. Yeah, the, the two blues were found at the receptacle area. One of the blues was found in the storeroom <laughs> along with a red, then green, then orange, then well, yellow. Well, I think the blues are obviously okay. Obviously. I want I, I want someone to who's not me to drink them. <laughs> I want all of you to just mix them. I think Carol's been drinking. No. <laughs> yeah, Coca Cola, like always. It, it, it's up to you guys. But you, uh, who are any of you feeling brave enough to do this? <laughs> yeah, but if one is a healing potion, it needs to go to you. So I know. <laughs> Or is so. the other I won't do it because you're the one who needs it. But what about Mortimer? Are we yeah. concerned about healing him? Not particularly. Because <laughs> oh. I'm a dick. All right, then just. Yeah, had to him. hit him. <laughs> we can go on. Uh, I think it's right. a. Improvement, though. I really do swear it is an improvement. All right. Well, we're going to try to find our way out anyways. Yeah. Uh, he leads you back into the tunnel uh, with the fecal mushrooms. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And he looks. And he points to the right. Where to the, the storm right. Is at. Okay. Jameson is down there. Jameson? Who's Jameson? Jameson. 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 Jameson is my brother. Jameson J. Sneed. Uh, he was an instructor at the Grand yeah. Academy, like I, but I am on sabbatical. Like a, so you remember now. I remember. Where okay. am I? I do not know where I'm at. You were looking at some runes, but before you snap into any recollection of what you're doing, can you identify these and i hold them up to him again the blues look strangely like potions of healing ah okay the one that changes colors yeah I, I think i know what it is but i'm not absolutely certain well is tell it, us your guess let me ask you this is it toxic I don't remember 
<sighs> Jameson J. Sneed, my brother, who is also an instructor at the Grand Academy, would know he teaches herbology and alchemy. But uh, he's not here. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if you had to guess, uh, judging by potency by color, which would you say are the most potent out of the... Oh, the, definitely the one that changes color. I didn't say that. Out of the healing. But you say the one that changes color is the most potent. <laughs> I would say the lightest one is probably the most potent because you know how those things work. Because I, Mortimer J. Sneed from the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical, I know how these things work. The mind of the dungeon master is a cruel mistress. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right, Mortimer. Wait. I'm taking you at your word for this. So I I take the light blue one, remove the cap. And it's just like, it's, it's been what nice knowing you. <laughs> and I drink it. Friend. Fair enough. Uh, doo, doo, doo. Is it? You get four hit points back. <laughs> yes, thank God. Okay. All right. That's it? That's there, was, there was another light blue one, wasn't there? There was the light blue one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The medium blue, blue, and then the dark blue. Okay. Okay. The light blue and the dark blue were found together in the pewter pitcher. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. You okay. may want to take one of those others. Yeah, I mean, anybody else needs, I mean, I'm not great, but at least I'm not on death's door. <laughs> so. I am, I think I am okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, right. a, I'm over half. Okay. So, Jameson, where is he? He's in, he's that direction still, or? Jameson is in Cathaway. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I thought you said he was here. <laughs> he was. He's left. Well, that does not help us. Okay. We need I, to. I am. I am not here to help you. I am Mortimer J. Sneed. I am on sabbatical. Uh, I am here to help myself. Start <laughs> walking towards the exit. But if you'll notice, my powers of observation have found footprints going to the south. Okay. Shall we go to the south? All right, let's go to the you, south. You go back in, <coughs> back into the storage room, and Mortimer J. Sneed points out, "Oh my, there are dead bodies here. Somebody has killed these individuals." I will attempt to bind their wounds. They're dead. You don't bother. They're gone. <laughs> Shall we say a few words? If you'd no. like. No. None of it ah, healing. Rukata, alleluia. Uh, <laughs> I do not you. I do not teach religious studies, so that is the extent and of that it. is the extent. Oh, oh, thank Ram God. You. Okay. And then he starts to whistle loudly, causing a strange echo down the halls. Huh. That's weird. The acoustics in this room are almost pitch perfect. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Mortimer, what are you doing? You're just checking. I the am acoustics. testing the acoustics for what? I, Mortimer J. Sneed of the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical. I'm amused by this. Hello. Yeah, I'm like, Mortimer, Can stop. Can I whack him with my quarterstaff again? No, no, not again. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. So he has alerted the entire complex that yeah. you guys are here. Yeah. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Mortimer. <laughs> it's all right. We will be, if anybody shows up soon, we will be able to take them out. And then the, 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 they will have no I, I'm trouble. I'm glad she cut out that way because it sounded like taint them out. <laughs> 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 cut out. Oh, man. Oh, uh, everybody perception check they hear the running footsteps right uh that is a 17 20 uh perception uh la, la, la. come on come on 
my dice roller. Eleven. <coughs> it goes to eleven. Uh, all three of you see a light on the far side, on the south side of the room. Okay. There's, there's another bridge over the sewage, and there's another antechamber on the far side. <coughs> uh, a moment later, uh, an individual puts a torch into the bracket just on the far side of the bridge, mm -hmm. unsheathes his sword. It's a great sword. And he says, thieves, you are encroaching upon my land. Prepare to die. Is it the oh. best sword ever? What do you mean thieves? The thieves are what took these things. We are merely returning them. Are you a really a thief? He reaches down, pulls out a hand crossbow. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what does that roll? Uh, he's going after Rosa. Uh-huh. And that's a 19 plus. I hope you got uncanny dodge. <laughs> you do not need to need the plus. The 19 was good enough. Three plus two. Five hit points as the bolt strikes you squarely in your armor. Oh. Mm. He okay. drops the hand crossbow. Come and get me, bitches. <laughs> I step to the side. I grab the dark blue potion, pop it open, drink it. <laughs> I'm going to wait. Do we have any more left or no? 18 hit points back. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice. But do, we have, do we still have the third one left? We have one peach potion, one medium blue potion. I want to grab that medium blue after taking that. I hand it to her. <coughs> I drink it. Uh, nine hit points back. Okay, cool. So it was the opposite of what Mortimer said. <laughs> I got to remember that with that guy. Eric. Mortimer whips out a notebook and starts scratching it. Hmm, that is unusual. <laughs> Damn it, Mortimer. Okay. Well, let's try the chromatic one. Now they're about to get into a big freaking fight. Another crossbow bolt comes whizzing into the room. <laughs> right, oh, no. <laughs> we, oh, we do Lord. And Mortimer J. Sneed's notebook, funk, <laughs> into a box with a mermaid on it. Oh, no. no. <laughs> but wait, are we doing initiatives? We can do initiatives now. Because I have not. Oh, that's a good initiative. Too bad the rest I, of the. I was just admiring this comedic gold that's going on right that now. That was good. No, that was good. Uh, Twelve. Yeah, uh, Nico's ro rolls twenty-three. Twenty-four. Rosa, you're up first. Da -da -da -da. All right. Um, I guess I will go. My now, how wide is the? where he's standing how wide is the walkway he's on a slight landing the uh hump bridge if you will is wide enough for one person to go running across at a time all right then i'm gonna go running across it i'm these two are casters so they could by all right stay back and just pop them that's true uh, uh, as you reach the apex of it he's already thrown down ball bearings give me a dex check or go into the drink <laughs> Oh, God, because my, uh, well, uh, that's a, a dex check, right? Not a save? Or isn't it a save? It's a check. Because uh, it does make a difference. All right, that's a 14. A uh, 14 is going to be good enough. You slide, uh, lose your balance a little bit. <laughs> you won't be able to attack this round, but you will certainly be able to get up to him. Uh, 23, Nikos. Okay, I am <coughs> going to fire uh, a firebolt at him, then I'm going to spend a sorcery point and uh, 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 quicken uh, my next spell as a bonus action. So, Sure. Yeah, I know. I know. Ooh, I critted. So, 28. Damage, so, pl damage plus damage plus modifier. Okay. You're going to need it because this is the chief smuggler. Okay. Let's see. Seven plus three is ten plus my modifier, which would be um uh wow, well, it's an eight. So eighteen. Eighteen, yeah. 
Good okay. enough. And um, D four. Uh, do I cast the spell first, or? Because uh, sure remember, not. I'm quickening the spell. Yeah, yeah go okay. ahead. Okay, uh, it's going to be a chaos bolt. Okay. Is that um, energy? Yeah. It it's turns fire, to fire. Fire. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, that's uh, twenty-three to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. I hit him for a big whopping seven points. That ain't going to help your cause. My die roll was a three. Okay. Uh, let, let roll my... And mine was a two. <laughs> Fair enough. No uh, next up, the twelves. Camille, you and I, I'll let you go first. <coughs> 16. That hits. Mm. One. Uh, what are you using on him? A D8. Frost or? Uh, I think that's my quarter staff. Uh, oh, you can't, you can't hit him with your quarter staff. Oh. You have to use a spell. Okay. Then frost. Okay. 26. Uh, the only one he can attack is Rosa as she's catching herself. He gets two attacks. This is going to be bad. Pretty much. Uh, 19 and a 7. So 11 and 23. Well, the 23 hooked, but the 11 will not. Uh, this is going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt the most. Murder Hobo comes up. So does a four. Uh, Twelve damage. That's bad. As That's he cuts you straight across. Oh, ah. no. That is really bad, guys, if this is what he can do. Uh, in the background, you hear, hey, you. What did what did uh, Marty's dad say to him? Oh. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you get, get, your get your damn, damn hands, hands, hands off, off her. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Rosa. <laughs> oh, God. That You've got hurt. George McFly with Fly on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then he'd come up and hit him and knock him out. Um, all right. Uh, he's me... fourth in line to do anything, and <laughs> it is. Uh, I don't think. Problem is, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm high enough level to flip and do uh, the, you know, half damage there. <laughs> actually, I draw out, I have, actually, I have a, I draw out my, I have a rapier and a dagger, because actually I do two weapon fighting. I totally forget about that, because I haven't played this character in, like, forever. Always know your character, boys and girls. Yeah. I know, but that's what happens when you have like 20 characters. And ah, okay. Hold on. No, I do not have any tears for you. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be crying because this is going to be a friggin' tight show. Does a 14 hit him? <laughs> no. What about a 15? Nope. 16 hits him. Uh, Nikos. Uh, about how far away is he? That depends. Are you running across the bridge to engage in melee? Running. running. <laughs> uh, he's maybe 28 feet away. Oh, okay. Just in range. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Grab, pull, twist. He's got to do uh, a deck save. I mean, strength save. 15. Oh, this will okay. be easy. Yeah, 16 plus 2. Uh, yeah, 16 plus 2. Okay. Was that a uh, spell? The next, yeah. Ah, uh, that was a spell. Three. Three. Four. There you go. Uh, Camille, you and I tied. Go ahead. Um, Fog Cloud just fuck everything up. <laughs> yeah, going. come on. Oh, no. Yes. yes. <laughs> Frank loves it when you do that. Except <laughs> I can't. Oh, I she does it because I can't really do much worse than I'm already doing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> I think it might hurt you. <laughs> How many potions do we have left? Okay, we just I'm have the, the chromatic cloud. one. It's a chromatic one. Wow. Yep. 
uh, fog, a dense fog descends. He and Rosa will be at disadvantage. Uh, unfortunately, Camille and I tied, so I will give one of his attacks a disadvantage. The other one is real. So the oranges are the disadvantage. Mm. 13 get you? No. The uh, real attack was a 7 plus 4, 11. Top of the order, Rosa, a thick pea soup has descended. Uh, Nikos, Camille, you can hear Mortimer J. Sneed screaming incessantly like he's a battered dog. Uh, Rosa, you're peering deep into this pea soup attack at disadvantage. I can... Well, one, I think, is going to hit because the low number was a 19. That would uh, hit. <clears throat> That's my primary. That is going to be 12, 15 points of dem damage. Ooh, nice. Nicely done. Sneak attack is great, man. Nikos, you're up. Uh... Magic missile, I don't have to see him. I just have to know where he was. Correct. Okay. All right. I'm going to use my second level spell slot. Sure. So, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so the first one is uh, this, uh, I'm rolling the damage on the magic missile. That's uh, the first dart is four. The second dart is four. Third dart is four. Damn. Oh, I hope my rolls go this good. <laughs> okay. And the other one is a five. Yeah. Okay, your D roll, your uh, D four roll. Mine is a deuce. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, and that would be a one. Nicely done. Percentage die or? Nope. No, I got a two. Ah, uh, Rosa, Nikos, Camille, you hear a loud splash. Where? Uh, behind you, in front oh. of Nikos. Oh, Camille, no. you're, Camille, you're up. Did Mortimer freaking try to cross the damn bridge? Or did someone cross try to cross the bridge? I think Camille pushed him in. <laughs> that would be fair. Camille, you're up. What do you want to do? Hurt this guy. Hurt this guy. I got an 18. What are you doing? Um, well, let's try Ray of Frost again. All right. Eight. Fair enough. Top of the order, Rosa. All right. I'm going to try two more attacks. Get him, Rosa. Mortimer J. Sneed yells out, I can't see anything. So it wasn't him that fell in. He would have been behind Camille. Ah, ah, you know what? That would have been... Yeah, let's see. Yeah, at 12 does not hit this guy. But the lower of the die on the other roll was a 16. So that's going to hit. That's a 21. And let's see, so that would be with my short sword with sneak attack because I get a sneak attack. The crappy die roll on the short sword, but decent on the sneak attack. Hey, your murder hobo dice are great, everyone should get some. Uh, that's his 10, 13 points of damage. He goes, um, he's gonna have to make a deck save. Uh, cause I'm gonna try to set him on fire. He Is misses. That, that, saves, that save's not gonna work. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he starts yeah. to engulf in flame for four points of damage initially. So, Are you rolling at disadvantage? And was uh, that a spell? That that was a cantrip. Okay. So, uh, did you hit him at disadvantage? Uh, it was uh, a deck save, so I didn't. I don't know how we do a deck save. It's uh -oh. not a roll to hit. 
I'll, I'll do ad advantage on the save since you can't okay. really see them. It's a five foot cube is that where I'm putting it down. Oh, so okay. Have... How much damage? Because Rose is going to get hit with that one. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. He can, he can center it so it's behind. Yeah, I thought I was centering Except it on him. Except there's a giant fog cloud. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's... Well, you knew I was... Stupid. Jump! <laughs> Jump! <laughs> hey, wait, wait, why do we... It's only four points of damage, but get out of the fire. <laughs> wait, 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 why don't we just... I mean, you don't know where anybody is. Why don't we let a dice roll? Can we do a d12 to see where that lands? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, where's my d12? And honestly, I mean, whatever happens, happens. If you hit me, you hit me. You I rolled a four, that. Frank. I rolled a nine. So you get singed. The good yeah. news is it starts to burn off the fog in that location. I don't uh, like. It. I'm gonna jump. I want to definitely jump back into the fog. In the oh. fog, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that what you want to do? No, is it my turn? Uh, not yet, Camille. Do you want to disengage? How much, how much damage did? How much damage did you do? By the way, four. Four, four points. We yeah. gotta save it all. Uh, no, because he got the save. Yeah. Well, and, and you couldn't see it coming. But right. it's an area of effect. If he's yeah. getting it, I should too. Uh, are you sure you want to do that? And I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> if you would like to jump back with your save, you may do so. I was well. I mean, oh, so this, so there's. It's not the end of the bridge. He's what in the middle of the bridge. He's at the landing of the bridge. He's at the landing. Yeah. <clears throat> so so if you want to save, you'll jump back and save. Yeah. I'm, if you okay. fail, you'll take damage. Well, a jump don't. back is a disengage, so that's not a run. Well, no, run. it's oh, no, I'm making a simple reflex save. You don't move. You're just making a reflex save. Okay. You don't move when you make a reflex save. There, there are two things you are forgetting about. What, well, what's your save? Well, the save, but I'm not moving to make that save. So I'm not <coughs> changing squares. You, last, like, that's you, a 24 on the save. You have a ray of frost underneath you from Camille, and you have fog. So now I'll need you to make a different save that will explain itself momentarily. What is it? Go ahead and roll. <laughs> Tell me what save it is. All right, it's a 12, but I have no idea what I'm adding. Your dex to. modifier. Okay, if, oh, so it's is it a save or is it a check? It's a save. It makes a difference, 17. Uh, you, you move back right to the edge of the uh, landing and you feel the ground give away. If you move, you're going in. Okay, I'm not going to move because it's not my turn anyways. Camille, you're up. Oh, do I, what is that, half damage, by the way? Yes, two. Two. Well, see, and that, it is actually important. I only have five hit points up. Now. Camille, what do you want to do? So why do oh, we yeah. still have Ray Frost? What? I said, why do we still have Ray Frost? Uh, you're, you fired off your ray of frost and it missed, so it had to land somewhere. Okay. Eighteen. What are you using? Uh, my quarter staff. Nope. You still are not close enough. It's not a very safe trip, so if you can keep using spells, because I, I would have yelled back, there were ball bearings on the bridge. So did you want to use another ray of frost? Sure. Okay. Uh, how much damage? Stupid glasses. <laughs> mm. Three. Fair enough. Top of the order, Rosa. All right. So now here's the question. You said he's on the landing, which I assume is wider, right? 
That's where he was when you saw him before the fog cloud descended. Now, it said, you said part of the fog cloud burned away, but he's not in that part that burned away, is he? Correct. He is not in the burned away part. All right. What I want to do, because I'm not trying to get out of his threatened area, because I, then I get out of my threatened area, I want to take a five-foot step, essentially, I guess, to the left, my left, off the bridge to like, get on the landing. Dex check. Check or save. Check. It does make sense. It makes a difference because my, my dex is one of my saves, obviously. So that is a 16. Okay. Uh, you feel <laughs> firm ground beneath you. Excellent. All right. And I'm going to try to try to hit him. He's not in that square, so I'm going to presume he's probably basically... Oh, that's terrible. Okay, so... That first attack, which actually rolled second. Uh, no, actually, wait, I lied. No, the first attack, god damn, I first attack, there was a, there's not one in there, so. <laughs> oh. no one near me, there's no one near me. It's the only person I damaged. No, 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 no. The not one is going to require another dex check. Okay, check. All right, hey, I guess I'll use that. How long have you been playing with Frank? Whenever there's a one on the board, yeah. you know something happens. <laughs> no, I know. And usually it's you hit somebody uh, other than the bad guy. Um, but you guys aren't near me. So uh, that's that's going to fail. But the second, if we're going with the two hits are simultaneous, right? The other one would be a, what the hell is the other one? 17. So I think the I, other one. The, the bad guys always attack simultaneously. You guys do not, because you guys are allowed to hold your attacks. Because okay. you, you guys can rearrange. Uh, you slide off the landing, but make the catch. But you are hanging over the landing by your fingertips. Uh, Nikos, you hear a screech uh, coming from in front of you. What would you like to do? Okay, I am going to cast Dancing Lights, but I'm going to form it into a shape of a humanoid. It's in the spell. You can do that. I'm going to send it uh, coursing towards the, the guy. And uh, I'm going to be walking behind it, and I'm going to uh, pick up Rosa, try to attempt to pick up Rosa. Dex save, because there's marbles. Marbles, I know. It's either that or she's going to fall. So, okay. Well, save. I'm, I'm hanging there. Now, of course, the guy's probably going to stomp on my friggin' fingers. Well, Dex is one of my things. So, 18. You manage to kick off uh, the marbles because Rosa has warned you, and you get to the other side. Okay. Camille, uh, do you want to leave your fog cloud in place, or do you want to lift it and do something else? I'll leave it in place. Okay. Mortimer J. Steed is crying like a child. What do you want to do this round? Oh, no. <laughs> Asshole. Wait, whose turn is it? Camille. It's Camille's. Oh, okay. So what I need to do? You want to cast a spell, disperse cloud, fog cloud, or smack Mortimer J. Sneed? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what she wants to do. I'm smacking Mortimer with a 10. Uh, that's enough to hit him. So give me a D4. No, don't hurt him because he might be our salvation. Four. Unconscious. You know what? I may be about to die, but that's still totally worth it. <laughs> okay. Rosa, perception check. <laughs> Who? Me? Rosa, yeah. Like, like, I'm going to perceive anything with my face against the wall. Oh, that's, yeah. I'm like freaking out. Uh, that is, what the hell is that? That's only an eight. Uh, you see a spider moving slowly down to where your nose is against the bricks. What would you like to do? Is it a I small spider or a big spider? I, mean, I, want spider. Climb, I want to climb the fuck up. Okay, give me an acrobatics. Okay. Oh, that's good. I'm going to climb up with that because that is a acrobatics, right? So that's a 25. So you crush the daddy long legs and crawl your way back up to the cobblestone and you see feet 
just off to your right. Oh, Lord. I'm going to have to pick up my sword. That's so me, right? Action. Okay, you pick up your sword. Nikos, you're up. Okay. Uh, do I see Mr. Badman? <coughs> Perception check. It's still fog clouded. Six. You cannot, you hear some scraping from in front of you, but you can't tell if it's him or not. Use my last uh, sorcery point, make a spell slot, magic missile him. The noise? Huh? The noise? Because he, the noise is not coming from where he thought he oh, was. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> You have to be able to locate him somehow with magic missiles. Yeah, you have, yeah. You are supposed to be able to see him. If you don't uh, see him, you cannot target him. Well, you hear noise. I hear noise. Yeah, so. You can target him that way. But uh, if I don't know for sure it's him, I'm not going to take the risk. Is, is she still dangling or did she make her way up? Am I still assisting her up? You cannot find her in the fog cloud. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, you don't know. I mean, I mean, out of game, you know, I made my way up, but you don't know. Okay, Camille, um, you're up. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and lift the fog cloud. Very good. Uh, the fog cloud lifts. Nikos, the noise you heard was Rosa climbing up. Uh, Rosa, Nikos, Camille, ain't no bad guy here. God damn it, you left? Well, actually, in some ways, no, I'm not sorry you left. Ow! <laughs> so I help her up and help her back to the, the the area where everybody is, and poor Mortimer's knocked unconscious again. He is unconscious. Now he has two bumps. He looks like a tiefling that has been... Uh, yeah, yeah, with the horns cut off, or, or you know, yeah. <laughs> damn it. He got away. Well, at least we can, I guess at least we can get out and go. Yeah, let's, let's just beat Cheeks out of here. So let's, I'll grab Mortimer and, you know, try to smack him to, to wake up again. Mortimer, Mortimer, Mortimer. <laughs> Who am I? Why am I here? Why am I a vice presidential candidate? <laughs> you know what? We should just freaking leave him. He's Mortimer J. Sneed. He's got friggin' thing I've heard of called Plot Tomer. Um, they won't get him. So are you, I assume, going to leave the same way you came in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you get up top onto the docks. It has begun to rain again. Uh, there seems to be a large crowd gathered around the mermaid. Let me go look. Uh, yeah, we go and uh, try to make our way to the captain, two bits. Uh, two bits is up top looking over her ship. Uh, there's a crowd of people on the dock blocking the gangplank. You're going to have to push and shove, uh, maybe ask nicely. I don't know. <laughs> I, I do both. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. I'm small, so I try to make my way through. Yeah, make make way. We have important business on this ship. Excuse me. Excuse me. Charisma, charisma, please. Charisma. That's uh, so 21 we, for persuasion. Oh, persuasion's my strong one here. You're Persu probably going, Ooh, look, uh, a that's a 20. What the hell is that? 25. Uh, you guys make your way over towards the gang plank, and you notice that the crowd is looking at a dead body in the bay. Oh, what's the dead body? It's the guy you were fighting, the big beat, the BBEG. Yeah. That was the splash. Oh. <clears throat> well, we took him out. We, didn't even we got the weak. Uh, I'm like, Captain. <laughs> that, yeah. was the man, that was the man that was stealing your uh, everything from the the, you know, the ships in the harbor. You know where it is. That guy? That guy, yes. And we know where she, you go. She are. leans over and a great big saliva droplet of tobacco dangles from her mouth and right on his ass <laughs> uh, he hit like a friggin truck to our sorry he hit like a friggin carriage speeding carriage so you guys but, look awful <laughs> but we have the itinerary for i mean not the itinerary the ledger for you uh for the guys oh, we're all 
Yeah, we can lead you the stuff, but somebody's going to have to help bring it out. We cannot carry it. Lead us. Okay. Folks, we ran a little bit over, but they did succeed, albeit almost <laughs> fucking dying and nearly killing Mortimer J. Sneed, Poor Mortimer. instructor from the Grand Damn Academy. It. No, crying so hard. Radical. I'm uh, crying. No tears if he dies. None. Let's go. Final thoughts. We'll start with Carrie. I had a great time. It was fun. Just because you got to punch out Mortimer J. Yes, I hate that's Mortimer. why she's. <laughs> Boy, she's really got it in for him. David, uh, what'd you think? I I love it. I love cacophony. Hey, it's like you know. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, it's low level stuff, but man, it's fun. So. Yeah, sometimes low level being scared to death that you're gonna die is makes. Yeah, it it's all it's better. exciting. Yeah. Carol, what'd you think? Yeah, same thing. I it, it was exciting, and I wasn't sure. I mean, when you friggin' dropped me to like seven hit points from almost from pre from nineteen, I'm like, oh my god. Well, David not... actually killed him, but Camille kept flinging frost down there, <laughs> and the, the landing was small enough that any movement on your part was going to catch a patch of ice and go over. And yeah. we couldn't see, so you know. I miss the fact that he friggin' died, but the fog, the fog cloud. You guys all just assumed that she threw Mortimer into the drink. <laughs> I did. I totally did, but I mean, but I was not sorry about the fog cloud. I mean, so but the way I was rolling, disadvantage wasn't really going to hurt. I did think disadvantage was going to hurt him more than it was going to hurt me because I think he had pretty good pluses to hit. He did. I, I just did. Better than me. I gotta tell you, I liked Wild Magic because I mean it had the potential to go from awesome to suck. <laughs> you know? oh, I, yes, I, it I, did. And fortunately, I mean, uh who's ever I rolled well rolled. Uh and I, I'd like to give credit, but there is no name on it. So I cannot hey, hey, can we find out what that what is that chromatic potion? That is called the potion of Chong. It's LSD. Oh, <laughs> oh, good thing I did not take it. I was it about to pop it. makes you very happy, and everything's going to be groovy. Groovy. You aren't going to fight anything, and it's it's okay, man. It is. Oh, no. Oh, man. I totally okay. would have oh, been man. hack dandy for that. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, uh, man. You will not attack, but they will beat the living shit out of you. Very good. Motion of Chong, baby. Uh, you can always it, tell when it changes colors. Yeah, yeah. Nico's kind of pockets that. <laughs> Save that for later. <laughs> Folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our archive if you want to buy our cool stuff. Uh, it's out there. If you want to chat with us, it's out there. If you want a seat on one of the shows, get a hold of us at mhobo inc or mhobo inc at gmail. Let us know. We'll try and get you in there. For all of us here at uh, oh, and don't forget. Pirate Dog Dice going live soon. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us. We will see you on Saturday for another one shot. Let's wave and let's do the flag thingy. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your Are we still going? I feel like we're still going. You're done. Uh, <laughs> That's probably in there. <laughs> So, wow.